the brain stores the movement patterns we learn. When you're resting, the brain keeps these motor patterns switched off. Humans can control our movements by activating these patterns only when we intend to. What would happen if the brain fails to keep these motor patterns switched off? This will give rise to uncontrollable movements of various body parts. Huntington disease is a rare genetic disease that can give rise to involuntary movements like Huntington chorea. Today, we'll explore the genetic basis of Huntington disease and the neurological basis of chorea. This is the short arm of chromosome four. It's the home of the Huntington gene, which codes for the Huntington protein. All humans have two copies of this gene. It has a section called trinucleotide repeat, which is a sequence of three DNA bases, cytosine, adenine, and guanine, repeated multiple times. A mutation in this gene can further increase the repeat count. If the repeat count is over 40, this will result in a very long Huntington protein called mutant Huntington protein. Accumulation of the mutant protein will increase the decay of certain neurons in the brain. This gene is inherited as an autosomal dominant. You have a 50% chance of inheriting the mutant gene from an affected parent. But since it's dominant, one mutant copy is enough to give you the disease. The other important feature is its penetrance close to 100%. It means that almost all the people with the mutant gene will develop the disease. Symptoms typically arise after the age of 35 to 44. The age of onset depends on the number of repeat count of the mutation. Symptoms may arise in the childhood itself if the repeat count is very high. At first, they develop cognitive changes and mood changes like depression. Later, the patients will develop speech and swallowing difficulty. Finally, they will develop jerky, uncontrollable dancing-like movements called chorea. The brain learns and stores different motor patterns in the cerebral cortex. A structure called basal ganglia keeps these motor patterns switched off via a pathway called the indirect pathway. When you want to initiate a certain movement, the motor cortex signals the basal ganglia to activate the specific motor patterns. Activation occurs via a pathway called the direct pathway. In Huntington's disease, neurons in the indirect pathway are decayed. Therefore, the brain loses the ability to switch off the motor patterns. This results in uncontrollable movements such as chorea. The presence of symptoms and positive family history is used to come to a clinical diagnosis. Genetic testing can confirm if an adult or an embryo carries the mutant Huntington gene. At the moment, there's no cure for Huntington disease. Drugs, such as antipsychotics, are given to control the movement. Supportive care includes occupational therapy, nutritional support, and speech and language therapy. A new clinical trial tests the gene silencing drug to slow down the disease progression. While it's groundbreaking, many scientists believe that the ultimate cure could be achieved with gene editing techniques like CRISPR. Thanks for watching it. I make animations about interesting medical cases, and I need your feedback to improve them. Please let me know what you think in the comments section. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more animations.